Chris. What is exploration? When we first started with ePulse, we decided to drive the development of the platform and all of the apps directly from our customer base and from the market. So what we do is we talk to customers, we talk to general engineers, even non-ePlan users to understand what their future requirements are. And everything we do is driven by that feedback. And how they can become part of this community? What we want to do is create uh, a method for any engineer that's interested to be able to sign up for this themselves. So they can do this either online on our website or they can send an email to exploration at eplan.de. Mm -hmm. And what kind of sort of customers we are looking for? Absolutely anybody. So we're looking for anything from contract engineers, you know, one man companies, all the way up to the large OEMs. And as I say, it doesn't matter if they've already got ePlan or not. We want them to, to come to us because we're trying to provide solutions for every engineer there is. And how does it help us uh, to develop the software? The feedback we get ensures that our development is prioritised for what the market are looking for. Mm -hmm. So everything that we do and the, and the way we prioritise our development is based on what the market is requesting. So we're, we're fixing problems for engineers essentially. Ah. And this is also the benefits for, for the customer? Of course, that's the biggest benefit, is being able to drive uh, a software development for a platform they'll use in the future. But other benefits include they become part of this community of, of global engineers and experts that they can talk to and, and develop ideas with or discuss problems with. And also, they can get access to the products before anyone else and access to our visions and our future before anyone else. How often we will contacting the guys for, for exploration topics? So when, when we first speak to the customer, the first conversation we have, we, we tend to profile what they're interested in and what, what's relevant to their industry and we'll only ever contact them with, with a subject that's relevant to them. If the subject isn't relevant, then we won't contact them with it. So I guess at the most it would be once a month that we would want to speak to them with a particular subject, but it will always be relevant. Okay, great. Okay? Yeah, thank you. Cool, thanks.